Hi, it's Chris here from the EQ Mod Project. In this EQ Tool video tutorial, I'm going to look at how to add audio commentaries uh, to each object within a tour. Now, this feature could be useful for outreach events where the public could use EQ Tour to navigate around a pre selected um, guided tour of objects. And each object would have its own commentary that you pre-record explaining exactly what they're looking at and some facts and figures and other background information. This sort of thing might also be useful for those distributing tours amongst local astronomy groups. Now as you can see I've already started EQ Tour and I've opened up uh, a demo tour that contains just three objects M1, M2 and M3. If I click on M1 you'll see that a new button appears. Here it is. Uh, and this indicates that this particular object has an audio commentary assigned to it. Now pressing this button will start the playback of that audio. Uh, and if I then press the button whilst playback is in progress, uh, the playback will be paused. Uh, and pressing the button again will cause the playback to resume. So I'm now going to demonstrate that and hopefully you'll hear it in the background. M1, or the Grab Nebula, is a magnitude 9 supernova remnant in Taurus. In the early 20th century, the analysis of early photographs of the nebula taken several years apart revealed that it was expanding. So there I have paused it, and if I press the button again, it will, should resume. Tracing the expansion back revealed that the nebula must have become visible on Earth about 900 years ago, first observed by Chinese astronomers in the year 1054. If you click on another object whilst playback is in progress, as I just did, uh, then playback will be halted. Now as you can see, M2, uh, the M2 object, doesn't have any playback, uh, doesn't have any audio assigned to it, uh, and so the button doesn't show. Now that's not a problem, uh, you don't have to have audio assigned to every object within a tool file. Now there's another way in which I can initiate playback rather than using the button on the uh, user interface and that is to use a button on a gamepad. Now to do that we have to uh, go into the gamepad setup window, select the play audio option and then press the button on our gamepad that we wish to trigger the audio. I'm going to press button 4, which is actually this button down here. So, If I now go back onto M1, you'll see that this button, when I activate that button, the playback will start. M1, or the Grab Nebula, is a magnitude 9 supernova remnant in Taurus. In the OK, and then I've paused it. OK, so how do we actually assign the audio in the first place? Well, to do that, you have to edit the list file that is associated with your particular tour. And you'll notice that the header of the list file now includes an A tag. And that A tag marks this particular tour as being capable of providing uh, audio commentary. To assign an audio file to an object, we simply type the path and file name of the file that you wish to play. So if I wanted to add some audio to the M3 object, I would just type audio, which is the folder where I'm storing all my files, m3.mp3. Save that file, and now if I click on click on M2 first of all to make the button disappear, then I shall click on M3 to show that a button reappears indicating that M3 now has audio assigned. And if I click on that button, we should hear the audio for that M3 object. M3 is a globular cluster in Canis Venatici. This cluster is one of the largest and the brightest, and is made up of around 500,000 stars. And there we go. OK, well that's all there is really to, to demonstrate as far as uh, how to 
control the playback and how to assign the playback files. Um, but one thing I will say is this in this demonstration I've been using uh, some audio recorded by Jeff from the uh, EQ Mod Yahoo group and he has actually recorded uh, audio descriptions for all 110 of the Messier objects. Uh, so if you're interested in using those, uh, join the EQMod Yahoo group and we can tell you where to find the files. Okay, that concludes this demonstration.